All right, folks, good evening, good evening. Uh, Michael Tech and Strode here on the Ujima Hour. I am coming to you all for a very brief moment um, because I will not be broadcasting this evening. Um, I'm really just coming to you to notify you that um, our broadcast was postponed due to a guest emergency um, that occurred. And so we'll be coming back to you all um, next Wednesday. So next Wednesday, we'll have the, our, our guest, uh, Elizabeth Carter of Urban Cooperative Enterprise, uh, Urban Cooperative Enterprise Legal Center, uh, UCLC, UCELC. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really just coming on to make that announcement. Um, I had attempted to try to move the broadcast um, scheduling all the way out to Wednesday, but you know, Facebook is a coding horror show. And so I could not move the broadcast forward any further than I did. So I moved it here to Wednesday. Now I have to actually use that broadcast. Otherwise, all those posts I circulated will um, be, you know, unlinked. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you all know that um, you can look forward next week to a broadcast with uh, Elizabeth Carter of Urban Cooperative Enterprise Legal Center. And at that time, I will also be sharing with you all um, some of the things that I've been working on, uh, some of the things related to uh, completing this empowering collaborative groups uh, training with Earth Activist Training. Uh, finishing up, you know, some of the readings that I've been doing on uh, the Introduction to Consensus, um, Beatrice Briggs, uh, and some of the other things that are, are very exciting in this world of solidarity economy, decolonial economies, uh, and permanently organized communities, uh, including the broadcast that I hope you all saw on the um, Colonet Collaborative page of the World Social Forum, um, you know, just uh, that broadcast that was related to building the solidarity economy in a time of Black Lives Matter and COVID-19. Um, you know, that is a tremendous broadcast. It's two hours in length, so it's, it's, it's quite a bit to digest. Uh, but I do hope that you had an opportunity to check out the Cold Nut Collaborative page and get uh, a sense of what's happening there, um, both in, um, here in Chicago, uh, there in Jackson, uh, in Philadelphia and in Boston uh, around the solidarity economy as it's um, as it's approached through a black lens. Uh, so that's um, all I really wanted to uh, drop in to tell you. Um, this is the briefest of broadcasts, but again, uh, make sure that you check back in uh, on Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday, um, J July 22nd, uh, here at 7.30, where uh, Movement Monday will be happening on a Wednesday. Um, again, you know, due to an emergency that happened with our guests. Um, so, yeah, I look forward to that broadcast um, and make sure you again, you know, check, check out the links that are happening there on the Colonet Collaborative page. Um, we'll be circulating some other things uh, this week. You know, um, if you did not see the North Carolina article on, on uh, Asheville, North Carolina, um, you know, dropping that reparations. Uh, Asheville, um, not, you know, coincidentally, but, you know, uh, is the home also of the Asheville Bochum Community Land Trust. Uh, which is a Black-led community land trust, you know, which um, in the course of a, a year ago, they received about uh, $1 million in the capital fund uh, for the development of their land trust. Uh, so, yeah, you know, there's a lot happening in Asheville, uh, and perhaps we'll bring some of that into the broadcast next week. Um, so thank you for dropping uh, your eyeballs on this for a moment. Um, check in next week, Elizabeth Carter, Urban Cooperative Enterprise Legal Center, here on Wednesday at 7.30, Movement Monday, moving to a Wednesday. Um, you know, so I look forward to seeing you all uh, on that broadcast. And until then, uh, peace.